Hey guys, it's Dave from AIPTComics.com. I have a Hascon exclusive Deadpool. Um, you can only get this at Hascon. I'm sure it's going to be available someplace else. I think actually it's a Toys R Us exclusive. And we're going to do an unboxing review for you. So, to start, um, this is your typical Marvel Legends action figure. So it has the same shape of most of their boxes with some art on the side, the logo of the character at the top, and obviously the character in the middle. Um, it's kind of neat, they have the Uncanny X-Force logo here, and because uh, you don't usually see that. And then on the back you have the sweet uh, photography and probably photoshopping they do to make it look really cool on the back. Um, so yeah, and then, all right, I think that's it. It's pretty basic. So to open the box, we have to go to the side here. And customary Marvel Legends, you gotta slide out the tray. Get rid of the box. Everything is, so the backdrop, just real quick, is just like a city scene. <laughs> and uh, wow, this figure comes with a lot of stuff and for 20 bucks, it's a good value. I mean, I'm a guy who likes a lot of accessories and this one has a lot of them. Uh, he's got a knife, he's got a gun, uh, a, uh, like a machine gun, a bazooka, some red flame to put into the tip of the gun, a, an alternate head with the, out the mask, a taco, another handgun, and two katanas. Oh, and I don't know if you could see this, but in his holster is a blue gun, another gun. <laughs> Also, the guns are different colors, and actually this one, ooh, nice little detail on this bazooka. It says boom, and it has little uh, Deadpool heads for the, uh, the O's and boom. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's pull this character out of the container. Oh, his head came right off. Obviously, this is the Deadpool from Uncanny X-Force, Rick Remender's really, really great run. Uh, so he's got the gray look, um, which is, I think, the look he puts on when he's in killer mode, uh, special ops, wet works style, take anybody out, leave nobody alive kind of thing. Um, there's some great detail on the pouches and the gun holster. You can see there's actually two colors to sort of give you that feel of um, shadow and, and texture. He's got... There's uh, another, he's got his belt all the way around with some nice little buttons to show you that they're pouches, and then the X Force logo in the middle, and the katana holders have some nice uh, like kind of like rope or whatever holding it together. <laughs> Does he have some weird tattoo on the back of his leg? What's happening there? Oh, that's just the. Um, oh, he was stamped. Yes, yeah, stamped. To tell you what uh, model he is or whatever. I don't know why they actually do that. They should put it on the bottom of the foot. I feel. They sometimes do. And then, the, let's see if the gun comes out. Does it come out? I don't, oh, it does. And it looks like it might be supposed to be like a joke gun. Like they have a little orange tip to make the... Like a flag comes out of it instead of a bullet. Or just, you know how when you buy guns, uh, toy guns, they have to have that uh, the orange on the tip uh. so that you know it's fake. Maybe that's supposed to be like a joke. Um, the sculpt of the head is really nice. This is, is, uh, it actually goes in pretty deep on his eyes. And his eyes are red, which is customary of this... Uh, this design. Um, you can't really tell him uh, there's a mouth or not, but there is a nose. And then he's got the, the usual little uh, back. back there. Yeah, so that you can, it looks like it's a mask that he pulled over his head. And clearly the sculpt is quite muscular, as customary to any action figure these days. Um, looks like this hand is got a pinky out. I don't know why. It's kind of funny. Maybe to hold the gun, he's like being funny about it? I don't know. And he's got another fist that's just like a normal gun trigger fist. Um, and then, as is per usual with Marvel Legends, there's really good um, points of articulation. He can really bend, and you can get him into a lot of positions. The ankle goes all the way around and back and forth. Does his waist twist, too? It does, like that. Yeah. And then they've got this way. Head goes all, almost all the way around. It's, and you know, I have to say the paint job on this is really nice. I mean, it's almost like a blue-gray. It's not like hmm. a boring, just gray-gray, you know? All right, let's take a look at the accessories. So we have the bazooka, which again has some really cool um, paint, a paint job on there that's super detailed. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Maybe it's like a machine. There's a scope 
uh, on the bazooka, which is really nice, really cool. Just the details on the side, there's no like color on the uh, lens. And then there's detail on the gun, so it looks pretty realistic. And on the tip is a hole where you can put the little explosion, which kind of suits this character. It's a bit silly looking to have a, <laughs> an explosion mm -hmm. like that coming out. And then he's got, let's see, he's got a taco. Look at that. A lot of lettuce in that taco. Too much lettuce for my liking. That lettuce isn't going to stay on that taco. <laughs> And then, oh, no, that's, on fire. that's true. He's got a gun, very weird looking gun. Not, it's like curved, it's almost like a space gun or something. It's kind of neat that it has two colors, makes it a little bit more special. And then he's got another gun, imagine like a machine gun rifle thing. Again, some nice detail, like the triangles there. And there's like a pump on this. Nothing, nothing moves on it, but there's some pretty cool detail all over it. And then another gun, the same gun as before, so he can hold two. And then he's got his two swords, which are, oh, that's interesting. There's no tape. I got rid of the tape. I can just pull these out, I think. Ah. Wow, that is interesting. That is like theft proof. And then these swords have some red dots on the hilts. Ooh, and there's some like nice lines um, detail. That's really cool, really nice. And then you can probably just stick these right into his sheaths. Yes, you can. Yeah, and they, ooh, they're really tight. So they're not slipping out, that's for sure. And then he's got an extra knife, you know, in case he needs to cook or cut his taco in half. And again, nice detail. <clears throat> And finally, there's the second head, which is all gross and cancerous. He's got some disgusting <laughs> detail on that, too. His skin's coming right off. The teeth are really nice. Wow, you can see every single teeth, a tooth. Uh, they didn't skimp on that. And then the eyes are the typical eyes for him in the uh, comic. And if we take off his head, which, again, these this head comes off really easy. Like, not too easy, but... Usually you have to really push down to like make it click. Maybe this one's like, oh, again, it just kind of smoothly goes on. Maybe they've changed the, uh, the heads a little so they're easier to switch. So there you go. There he is with his uh, disgusting look. Pretty cool figure. And as you can see, I have two other Deadpools. This one's the Yamaguchi that we also reviewed here at AIPT. And the Mezco exclusive at STCC, which we also reviewed. Um, as you can see, the Deadpool collection is pretty eclectic. <laughs> we don't have the same figure twice, which is a rare thing, I think, because they, they've clearly made a lot of Deadpools, but obviously uh, they want to sort of define the market with different uh, styles. I really like this figure. I think it's, it's one of the better, if not best, Marvel Legends um, Deadpools there is. There's only another one, I think. They're coming out with another exclusive where he's in red and black, um, which is a little bit more like the X-Force, I think, another X-Force team that he was on, maybe? Anyway, this is a really good time for the character. The gray and black uh, is gonna be a must-have for a lot of collectors, I think, just because it was such a great run in the uh, comic. But he also has a really unique look, and uh, the accessories are excellent. There's so many, and the detail on the figure is great. This is definitely getting a high score from me. So if you go to aiptcomics.com, you can see my full score and some additional details and my thoughts on the figure. I hope you've liked this unboxing, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.